everyone, welcome back to Cybrosis. Today we are diving into the powerful reporting capabilities of the Oro 17 Timesheet module. Effective time tracking is crucial for any business and generating insightful reports is key to optimizing your workforce. So let's explore how to make the most of this feature. For that, let's open the timesheet. So this is the timesheet. And inside the timesheet, you have the reporting menu. So click on that and under the timesheets reporting, you have timesheets by employee, by project, by task, by billing type. And then finally, you have the planning analysis. So first, let's see timesheet by employees. So this is timesheets by employees. So this is the pivot view. You have the graph view of the timesheet, which is provided by the employees where you have the different employees. Okay, and you can see the hours each employee have spent. So this is the measure. Okay, now the measure is, I mean, we have already chosen hours spent. So currently it shows the different employees hours spent. Okay, you can see Abigail Peterson, Nani, Oliver, all those employees. Okay, so Mark Demo is the one who spent most of the hours. Okay, so this is the line chart of the very same thing and the pie chart. Okay, so each color represents each employees. Okay, so let's go back to the bar chart and I'm changing it to billable hours. So the billable hours of each of these employees can be seen here. And also you have the margin. Okay, you can see the margin, the non-billable hours of each employees, the timesheet costs and the timesheet revenues. Other than that, you can see the count of each of the employee. Okay. So this is how you can see the timesheet which is provided by the employees. You can see the descending way as well as the ascending way. Okay, so that's the graph view of timesheet which is provided by employee. Then you have the pivot view of the same. So here in the pivot view, you can see the different employees here. The total hours spent by each can be seen here. Okay, so on different months. So in the measures, you can see hours spent. Now I'm going to add a new column which is billable hours. So you can also add the non-billable hours of each, the timesheet costs and the timesheet revenue I'm adding. Even the count I'm adding. So here in case of the pivot table, the thing is that you can add multiple columns, okay, multiple values for the single person. So you can see of Abigail Peterson, you can see the hours spent, the billable hours of hers, non-billable hours, the timesheet cost as well as the timesheet revenue. And then you can find the cost as well. So all these things can be included inside the pivot table of the reporting of timesheets by employees. You can flip the axis here. So you can even expand the data and also download the Excel SX. So that's the timesheet by employee. Now you can see the timesheet by project. Okay, so this is based on project. Earlier we were looking into timesheets which is provided by the employees. So there comes the employee details as well as the hours spent based on the employees. So here it's the timesheet which is based on the project. So different projects are given there and the hours spent on each project on each month is given there. So I'm going to add the billable hours of each project. Okay, so you can see the billable hours, the non-billable hours, I'm adding it. Okay, the timesheet cost, you can add it over there and also the timesheet revenue. Okay, so this is the data corresponding to each of the project based on different months. Okay, so that's given here. We can see the same in the graph view. So this is the graph view. You have the different projects over here and the hours spent is given here. Okay. So based on this, you can evaluate the hours spent on each of the project. So currently the measure is in hours spent. So let me change it to count. So you can see the count in line chart, pie chart and bar chart. So now let's move on to the timesheet by task. Now this is based on the task. So for each project, they'll be task, right? So you can see sale order, furniture delivery, furniture planning. These are the different tasks of the project. You can see after sale services, different tasks. So based on each task, that is the thing is that this reporting will give you the correct idea of the time which is spent on each of the tasks or the project or even the employees. Okay. By different criteria, based on different criteria, you can, you know, measure the time which has been spent by the different people. Okay, so that's the timesheet by task. You can see the hours spent. As I said before, measures can be added. So here's the billable hours. Okay, all things have been added. Here you have the graph view. 
So this is the graph view of the very same thing. Okay, different task of the single project. This is a single project and different colors denote to different task. Here you have the line chart and the pie chart of the very same thing. Okay, so you can change the measures from here. So that's timesheet by task. Next we have timesheet by building type. Okay, so build at a fixed price, build manually, build on milestones, build on timesheets and non-billable ones are given there based on different months. Okay, so the, here it shows only hours spent. So I'm adding billable hours. Okay, non-billable hours are also been added. Okay, so based on your needs, you can add the measures here. So this is the pivot table. Now you have the graph of the same. So you can see build at fixed price, build, at, build manually, build on milestones, on timesheets and the non-billable ones are seen here. Line chart and the pie chart. Okay, so from here you can change. I'm changing it to count. The count is seen here. Okay, so that's the reporting. Inside, that's the timesheet by billing type. Finally, we have the planning analysis inside the timesheet. Okay, so this is the planning analysis or the timesheet. So where you can find the planned hours, the effective hours, as well as the remaining hours. Okay, based on different months. So I'm just adding the effective billable hours. Okay, so let's add the planned cost, planned non-billable hours, all such things. So as much as measures you need can be added here in the planning analysis. Okay, so this will be showing the data based on total. Uh, I mean, uh, different months and the total will be seen of the planned hours, effective hours and all such things. Okay, so that's the planning analysis and this is the graph view of the planning analysis. Okay, you can see the date, the planning as well as the timesheet which has been logged can be seen here. Okay, so this is how you can see it in line chart and also the pie chart. So different color denotes to different months. So in July, you have 438 timesheets, highest count. Then on July, you have for the planning was done for this much. All such things can be seen here. Okay, it's very detailed graph. Everything is given in a very detailed manner. Okay, so this is basically the reporting section of the timesheet, which will actually give you an idea of everything which is happening inside the timesheets module. So that's it, guys. I hope it's clear for you all. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.